Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your afternoon delight reading. I pulled um, or I shuffled till something flew out ready to cut. No, I'm not ready to cut. <laughs> We're going to wait. The cards flew out. Remind me to cut. Let's talk about the cards from two previous decks that I pulled just prior to taping this. The first card that was pulled was, what is his name? Arvel. Arvel Parrot. This is about communication, precarious communication, being careful to read between the lines and look behind the meanings. Um, it may be a time to be quiet, withdraw, listen. Really pay attention to the details of a situation. What's being said, what's not being said. If the sentences aren't being finished. Yeah, reading between the lines. This card, the boar. It's about facing the wild side of us. The untamed side of us going down the path of the boar to come face to face with something that is within and in facing that something that would is within that is untamed and wild we have a sense of knowledge of ourselves this is also a, a card of leadership the skin of the boar has been known to heal it is goddess energy Hmm. And there was something else that was said in the book about this. Yeah, this is a time too where you can use this energy for acts of heroism. Coming face to face with the animal. That embodies the wild and untamed power that lies within you. <clears throat> Fascinating. We are coming to the end of April. Um, August is promising to be a very, very good month for all signs. But the end of July is the tail endings of that lunar eclipse of the eclipse season. That brought about many many changes within ourselves so there are endings and there are new beginnings the crowning energy let's cut the cards thanks for reminding me bottom of the deck is fortune's wheel thank you god moving forward new cycles abundance being on the right track universe working in your favor the queen of air there has been a lot of cutting out of old things um old ways old habits just doing i guess that final that final checklist hold on guys this light is shadowing and flickering so let's add a light <clears throat> the energies actually very powerful today and maybe very difficult for some to uh deal with but it, it's like tying up loose ends of old things <laughs> to try to get closer to my desk cutting out that queen of air is uh she's single she's not usually mated with anyone uh, and she's very intimidating because she likes the truth she likes to be open she likes to be clear she's approachable she's friendly but um, she calls it like she sees it three of water there is a celebration coming knowing what you can bring to the table knowing what others can bring to the table uh, accepting others for who they are It can also mean a three-party situation that she's cutting out.
nine of water is about wish fulfillment so for all of you who were wishing for this fortune's wheel to start turning in your favor to start that new cycle uh without the baggage of the old um wish fulfillment is here transformation sometimes transformation seems elusive you feel the change you're going through the change and then you you're faced again with old traumas and we are going to continue to be faced with these old traumas until we look them straight in the eye and see them for what they are and no more delusions transformation strength that singer of courage bravery taming that wild side within us putting the ego in check and it's the number eight so you're bringing things into reality transformation uh, oh i like how these two go together transformation bringing things into reality it's like you are being you're able now to start seeing the formation that manifestation of what you were trying to bring in what you were trying to heal what you were trying to accomplish and judgment a judgment was made <clears throat> karma steps in yeah and this talks about two paying karmic debts now it's going in your favor high priestess things that are hidden not ready to be revealed because we are going through this transformation will not see what is needs to be revealed until this takes place follow your intuition judgment is here it could be a recall of something from the past well it is something being recalled from the past something you still didn't understand and still having to follow your intuition through at the heart of the reading is ten of earth so many of you are just focusing on work focusing on your tasks focusing on you um, looking towards your future how things are going to play out for your own retirement how you will, will be in the latter part or of your years or your latter years having your family this at the heart of the reading is that goal of having your family your kids your grandkids and accomplishing it king of air so now we have the king and the queen of air this is almost like a brother and sister act this person has uh cold this person is cold um professional by the book wears a mask shows no emotion whatsoever could be a professional person you're dealing with uh, like a lawyer uh, a doctor judge military person this person watches he's more adept at watching than the page who just only spies this one gathers his knowledge and yeah he's watching you watching you follow your path you're following it intuitively moving towards your goals on a, the monetary level and the spiritual this person isn't saying how they feel they're just watching and here we have oh my god the spy <laughs> speaking of the page there they are spying they want to know what you're up to what you're doing and the king of earth so we've got the king of air which could be an air sign uh the king of earth which could be a earth sign kind of goes without saying eh redundant king of earth could be a boss a person who is stable balanced 
and again this this king of earth he's got that melancholy look to him king of earth is always like longing for his queen now we have the king of fire so you could be dealing with multiple people here that uh, are options the three of water could be these options at the crown uh, this one has a lot of passion their heart beats for you they want to be loyal only to you faithful to you they go after what they want and they get what they want they're also good in business so it, this person may prove to be a, a wonderful mentor for you and this doesn't necessarily have to be a male this could be a female taking on these energies it can be either or so we've got three kings boom 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 and we've got the queen up there who's single so it, it looks like there's competition for her uh, attention for her for her to choose this could be one person taking on these energies of not showing their emotions but they're they're grounded and know what they want and they've got a lot of passion for you and the, the best they can do right now is just spy because without showing emotion perhaps they just don't even know what it is yeah they do down here the the final card is that wait a minute um i really want this person their heart beats for you so here we have the wish fulfillment and transformation strength and then judgment following intuition working on your pentacles and then these kings and a you know one of them or all of them are spying but the queen is doing all of this cutting in order for this transformation to take place three cups three kings may be significant for some of you <clears throat> let's clarify these cards The energies at the end of this month are really weird. Um, that lunar eclipse was like a, a bif bipolar effect on, on most people. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. Two of Wands making a choice. And look at the gold cloth that's hanging down off that choice. It's like this person is dreaming about when you were at the crossroads and making this choice between two paths you were thinking if i go down this one what happens and if i go down this one you know projecting what might happen whatever the choice is that you make you know is there stormy seas ahead is there bright skies ahead whatever this choice is that you you've made or you're making it's the right one rest assured it's the right one clarifying the queen of air we have the hermit so you could be dealing uh, with a oh the power man just went by to read my meter god it scares me every time it goes by my window it's like my god i'm in the woods um going within so the queen of air has cut many things loose in order to bring things back to life And gone within she did a lot she or he did a lot of soul searching before making that cut a lot of soul searching so this tells me that whatever that final cut was it wasn't an easy thing to do but it was something that was being led to three of water is going to be clarified by the three of pentacles so we have threes we're either working with a team teamwork people that are you know working with you 
helping you or we're dealing with a three-party situation with the three of pentacles it usually means that you have help uh two people creating one fantastic big coin there knowing what people can bring to the table i almost get the sense of um that if it was in the past uh you know too many cooks in the kitchen and you were at the end of the line um it, that you're moving into a place of knowing who's bringing to the table knowing what you want to work on or who you want to work with some of you have already uh, met someone new some of you are beginning a business where you're needing to add employees Some of you have help from family. I get this can also mean that two making one, someone working with you, and it's going to bring cause for celebration. Uh, your wish fulfillment comes out of making a decision and this decision was no easy task there may have been <clears throat> a lot of love for the situation but realizing it was going to need to be cut out this decision one way or the other something had to be cut out but it brings wish fulfillment. You know what? That's really annoying. You know, it's almost like, oh, come on. Really? Universe? I wish it was easy. That it was cut and dry. Because if you knew wish fulfillment was coming out of a, a certain decision, um, how quick would we make that decision? Now, the, the queen of air, she doesn't waste any time. She just, like, time, it, she cuts. This is that final decision. That's like that final decision to cut something out of your life that you loved. It, it Maybe cutting out a wish, saying, I wished for this for so long that, you know, I'm just um hurting myself by holding on to it letting go cutting things out then this transformation and wow look what happens this is creativity messages job orders all of a sudden this great abundance starts flowing through you know it could be a whole bunch of suitors coming in but it is about creativity, messages. Some are long distance. Some, you know, some uh, of these messages coming over the air. It could be travel. It could be all of a sudden these doors open and you're just flooded. You're transforming here and all of a sudden by cutting out what you thought you wished for is bringing in all this abundance and creativity everything starts to flow queen of pentacles this strength is going to bring you to stability balance you're very nurturing very understanding caring gentle organized this strength is going to be seen in you the call judgment eight of pentacles you work for it you work hard and now universe is going to reward you this is going to be karmic rewards look at all the pentacles karmic rewards high priestess is going to be clarified by the king of pentacles so you could be intuiting what's uh going on with your boss 
You could be intuiting what's going on with an earth sign, or you could be just intuiting bringing this to the forefront of your character. Intuiting that this is what you have to be right now. You have to be the boss. You have to step up to the plate and be like a boss. Boss of your own life. Bring that stability in. Bring that security in. And here it is at the heart of the reading. The Ten of Earth is going to be clarified by the Three of Cups. You bet you by golly you get it. <laughs> this is probably your retirement party and everybody's celebrating. The whole family's there. You are going to be celebrating abundance. Loved ones around you. Support, your support team. King of Air, meanwhile, the King of Air is watching and just hanging there, watching, but becoming awakened, becoming enlightened. Uh, we could be dealing with a Pisces here. This is the Pisces card. So the hangman on the King of Air, which could be uh, an air sign. Watching the Pisces. And if it isn't uh, the zodiacs, it's definitely the energy. This person has been. This isn't about being self-inflicted. This isn't about uh, feeling stuck in a, in a way that you can get yourself out. You can't. This person cannot get themselves out of it. Universe grabbed them right by the ankle, the scruff of the neck, and then tied them to the tree and said, you need to look at things a different way. You need to see things a different way in order for this person to go through their own transformation and growth. It's not like uh, God is prejudiced. It's it loves us all, wants us all to be awakened, wants us all on our path. And since this person is stagnant and not moving, the um, universe has made sure that if you're going to be stagnant and unmov unmoving, we're going to strap you to that tree of life, hang you upside down, so that you can start seeing things in a different light. Handling situations in a different way. Whether they learn that or not, it's, it's not for you. That's just a little insight on what they're going through. So, a person spying on you uh, surely would love a passionate new beginning with you um and it's it's a the imagination or the thought or the dream of it is quite beautiful very passionate and look at the castle in the background it's like this person realizes that you have the key to something magnificent and it's or they see this passion in you and see what you're building they are unable to come forward because the universe stopped them up on a tree to do their own awakening, to do their own path. Uh, but they're, they're watching. They're seeing the possibilities of having that passionate new beginning with you. Or perhaps they're just, you know, thinking, wow, I just blew that. It's not going to happen. But maybe if I research more or, I'm, you know, try to see this as a controlling person, flapping their wings, trying to direct that feather. So what what are they doing? They're just, for now, they're researching. They're stuck on a tree. They can't do anything right now. All they can do is research and study and learn. Um, but this is what, maybe they're seeing this in their dream state. The King of Earth is going to be clarified with the Five of Wands. So we have, oh my God, this couldn't be clearer. This Boss King is um, melancholy because he can't move forward. 
he's stuck on a tree and the universe has allowed it he has allowed this came as a result of um came as a result of <clears throat> people standing in the way people standing in the way and that not only standing in the way there is some deception going on people talking in their ear saying this is what you have to do and giving them all this advice that we're at the five not the seven this person is unable to stand against them and, and stand in their power they feel like they're doing the dutiful thing because they're a king doing the dutiful thing to rule their kingdom because his subjects are saying no you have to stay right where you are and be a king for us we don't want anything else in our kingdom and we don't want anyone leaving our kingdom a lot of uh this is blockages people blocking this person sad huh the alchemist so if it is the same person um they're trying to manifest their way out they're trying to look at this they're enlightened they become enlightened and when they do move forward they're going to move forward passionately they will know there's a confidence here you know feeling that they know they can have what they want they know how to get it uh, universe is a funny thing though because meanwhile you're up here working 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 and judgment has been called will this person manifest this will this person achieve that goal well universe wants to bring to us all that we desire if anything this person should be trying to manifest enlightening the awakening they're going through an awakening process this at the end of the reading is them being awakened so interesting let's blow this open and see where this person is going to go I have the feeling like we have a, a cutting out of a situation a transformation and you moving into a different realm uh, regarding people and then the energies take over from another person unless this is you taking on these energies you being the king these blockages though you know I, I can't help but chuckle over this these people that are interfering you know the gossiping the trying to put blockages between this king and another person or his queen male or female in this situation very interesting not surprising but interesting all the same just be no just know that you're you're on your path had to make a hard hard decision and look what's coming as a result you've got the eight of wands you've got the ten of pentacles and the three of cups yeah I really I'm actually looking forward to getting over to the extended to see what's going on here if any of this resonated for you you can ask me a question under the extended reading and I'll pull a card for you to help personalize it for you and uh the cost of an extended reading uh is gives you access to all of the extended readings for a month it's only ten dollars but it gives you access to all the zodiacs and the afternoon delights personal readings are on special till august 1st you can ask me as many questions as you like and i'll answer as many as i can in a 15 to a many minute period i'm still working on disciplining the time on that okay my friends uh the facebook message is out and the facebook message was very similar to to what these two card meanings meant looking at the imaginary or uh, looking at a situation and one going past what am i imagining and what is real so 
Let's find out exactly what that is. Hope to see you over there. God bless you all. Bye for now.